on the screen here on Jazz 88.3 KCCK, live from our Studio D, where we're going to have a live piano performance in just a minute from Lara Downs, who is in to do a uh, special show tonight at the Recital Hall at West Music in Coralville, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the birth of the great Billie Holiday. First of all, Laura, thanks so much for coming in. Great to, great to meet you in person and see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, glad you just actually literally just <laughs> flew in. <laughs> just so landed. I know you haven't had a chance to get to the hotel or anything, so we appreciate you. First coming, stop is the best stop. Making this the first stop. Uh, now, before we talk specifically about the Billie Holiday Project, uh, I read on your website a little bit about your biography. You started playing piano at a very young age. I, I dislike the term prodigy, but you took it up at four, which is pretty young. And when you were still quite a young child, you were touring Europe with your family. Tell me about that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I started when I was four. I'd, I'd started music classes before that, you know, the little bang on a thing and a thing. And I just loved it right away. And I have two sisters who are also musicians and we all started so young. So it was music in our house all the time. We had three pianos in the house. Um, and just, you know, things just snowball. I think when you're, when you're sort of, when it's a musical family and when, when everybody's committed. And so, yeah, that's, that's what we did. And when some I'm, families bowl, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is true. No, we played together and, um, you know, the, my, my story about the, the beginnings of the Billie Holiday project have to do with st the, the music studies and, and coming home from conservatory classes in the morning and going through my parents' record collection, dancing around the living room. And that was where, and, and your, your dad grew up in Harlem, just yeah. steps away from where Billy played, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we had, there was a lot of jazz in the house. I mean, we were, we were studying classical music from the beginning, but there was a lot of jazz coming into my ears too. When did you, when did you start playing? When did you add jazz to your repertoire in addition to classical playing? You know, I think it's just been sort of, um, filtering in over the years. I've been interested for a long time in American music, American concert music. And I think as soon as you enter that territory, you know, you're opening up to all of the influences that are involved in that. So, um, you know, one of my first recordings was American music from the early 20th century that was, of course, influenced by jazz, you know, composers like Copland and Gershwin and that whole generation. So I think the the crossing of divides started um, being kind of essential to what I do. This is the first really purely jazz focused recording project that I've done, but I've been working with the music of composers who are looking in both directions for their inspiration for quite some time. And this CD project, which is just out, is of course, Billy Billy Holiday at 100, yeah. uh, a celebration of her uh, uh, one century anniversary. Mm -hmm. And it's, but it's actual transcriptions of her actual playing. Right. So these are these are the songs that she made famous. And you know, I think it's really interesting when we talk about Billie Holiday because she only wrote a very few of the songs she sang. The